The United Nations Universal Periodic Review of the Brazilian State can be an important device to prevent serious human rights violations currently in course in the context of urban preparation for 2014 World Cup and 2016 Olympic Games in 12 of its 27 capital cities. Considering that we are still two years from the beginning of such megaments. Concerning the federal government, the main initiative promoted after two years of civil society complaints was the institution of a working group within the Women's Rights Secretariat and stands under the presidency of the Republic to assess cases of evictions and displacements caused by interventions associated with the World Cup and the Olympic Games. However, there are clear limitations in the performance of this group. First of all, it will run only for 120 days. Therefore, the group will not act until the Games, leaving a considerable gap in the monitoring of violations, especially those referring to the right to adequate housing. Secondly, there is doubt as to its effectiveness. The group doesn't count with the participation of local communities and public agencies of states and municipalities, which are the main protagonists of cases involving removals. Lastly, positive consequences of the working groups depend on how cases will be coped with and what kinds of follow-up measures will be taken. We believe that the only viable solution to prevent further violations is the immediate suspension of constructions and projects evaluated as human rights of steel. In turn, there is no forum for discussion with civil society and affected populations in local level, nor do the whole cities publicize qualified information about the budget and projects linked to the, their preparation for the events. Nationally, social movements and experts estimate around 107,000 people directly impacted by such projects. Families are being removed from their homes, often without regard to the procedures of internal or international legislation on the protection of human rights, particularly the right to adequate housing. Forced displacements have occurred without prior information or notification, without offering of alternatives for housing or frequently recurring to the use of violence. Even the hair case where some sort of relocation recently exists, it does not include the basic components of a right to rousing, such habitability, location, access to service and job, accessibility, among others. For example, in Rio de Janeiro, in the Pavão, Pavãozinho Slam community, favela, there have been cases of displacement reaching distances above 50 kilometers from the regional areas of residence. Apart from that, when financial compensation is offered, amounts are far below the actual market value or the investments made by households in the acquisition, production and maintenance of their homes not guaranteeing the purchase of new units in equivalent state. This fact represents a regression, a step behind in securing of adequate housing for these groups. That is what the case of City of Natal also shows, where the average value offered as identification by the municipality per square meter building does not surpass 100 reais in certain areas. Among the range of treats, the phenomenon of so-called economic evictions, that is, displacement caused by the abrupt increase 
of social costs of housing in the host cities must be taken into consideration as responsible for massive immigration of populations and poor families to segregate regions, increasing social inequality. These violations are aggravated by the fact that the process of urban renewal is led by the state and its institutional apparatus, who largely invest public research in these constructions. Even when projects are run by corporations, there is some kind of state funding, especially through banks and federal credit programs. The construction of private stadiums such as Itaquera in São Paulo and Grêmio Arena in Porto Alegre are typical examples of this model, generating profound impacts in surrounding zones. In face of these situations, we deeply hope that Brazilian state take responsibility for the case narrated and that the Human Rights Council assume the mission of monitoring the recommendations to assure adequate housing in the context of 2014 World Cup and 2016 Olympic Games.